Hey, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Carnage, your Primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys today. Today we are here with some new information regarding the beta as well as patch notes for the day one patch for modern, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Uh, some of you guys may have already seen this video as I posted it probably about an hour ago, but unfortunately there was some new information that arose that I did not want to separate the two videos, so I had to take down the video and now I'm basically reposting it and re-recording it with the brand new information that was added uh, to the patch notes. So I'm going to cover everything in this first part. If you like to skip to the second section which includes the, the patch notes uh, i will include timestamps in the video so you guys can go ahead and skip through certain sections of the video so first things first for the beta we got some new information regarding uh, multiplayer modes as well as brand new multiplayer maps and also some changes to the game so the brand new multiplayer map that's going to be included is cartel uh, this is going to be featured in both 6v6 and 12v12 modes uh, in the beta which includes team deathmatch kill confirmed domination combined arms and uh, combined arms domination uh, and they said they they say here that they're going to actually add more modes to the game as they uh as the beta is progressing so probably somewhere around saturday we may see a few changes and new game modes added to the game as well uh they're also glad to support up to 24 players on the brand new map and a full section of core 6v6 maps in the beta uh, to put it simply this map will have different versions of the map there's going to be a larger scale version of cartel which supports up to 24 players and a smaller scale one uh, which is going to be centered around the mini the, the center of the map which will be focused around smaller modes for 6v6 like team deathmatch and domination uh the next game mode that they have here is known as vip escort this is a, basically a search and destroy variant where you either have to a kill everybody on the enemy team or b you have to eliminate you have to protect your vip escort and the vip escort is going to have basically a pistol uh two grenades two flashes and also a uav recon uh so basically if you're on the escorting team, you have to either kill everybody on the enemy team or you have to escort your VIP to the helicopter and then for extraction. And then once you do that, game's over. Uh, so for those that like search and destroy, this mode is basically for you guys. Uh, moving on, we got a brand new mode called Combined Arms Assault. Uh, this is a basically the same mode that we had in the beta. It was 12v12. Uh, it's 12v12 on uh, some new maps here that they have. Uh, this will be featured with Combined Arms Domination, as well as the newest map Cartel will be included in this mode. So uh, nothing new there besides the new map, which is going to be included. The next mode, which I'm really excited for, is known as Fire Team Dirty Bomb. Uh, this is a 40 player, 10 teams of four ground war mode. So for those that like ground war, this mode is for you guys. You're going to be in a squad of four people so you can take a party of four with you and you have 36 other players to kill uh, the objective of this mode is basically each detonation causes a radiation leak uh, you basically have to you have to there, there's uranium caches that you have to collect uh, you have to locate the dirty bombs scattered throughout the map successfully deposit the uranium into one of those deposits and detonate them to get the win for your team so i'm kind of hoping that this is a ground war style mode where it doesn't end insanely fast because like i'm afraid that if you just pick up all the deposits and then deposit your dirty bomb you know the game's over which mean it would be like a two minute game so i'm hoping that's not the case i hope it is a mode where you can get a lot of kills in i'm pretty excited for it uh and basically is can actually transform huge portions of the map into radioactive hazards for everybody so uh certain areas of the map will actually not be able to go on to which is pretty interesting so this is definitely interesting if you like killing a lot of people you like getting a lot of kills this might be the right mode for you so new features that were actually added to the game are known as a ping system for those that play warzone you kind of already know what this is already for those that strictly play multiplayer you may not be aware of what this is you can now mark certain areas of the map you can mark loot caches uh, objects certain buildings you can mark basically anything uh, with the new ping system which is very helpful for callouts because you don't have to worry about your teammate saying hey there's a guy over there and then your teammate asks you what's there you're going to say that building and then people are going to say what building now you can actually mark the building to help your team out uh, the next bit feature is actually an fov slider on all platforms uh for those that are not familiar with fov is this is field of view that every time you look at somebody so if you guys look at any of my modern warfare gameplays you guys notice that my field of view is much larger meaning that i have a wider area of where i can actually see people and it's very helpful and it's a huge advantage for anyone that has that feature uh currently this is only available on pc but for call of duty black ops cold war this will be available for all platforms ps4 xbox one xbox series x and ps5 and also pc which has had the feature for the longest time already so this is a huge feature uh they do say that this may decrease your frames on ps4 or xbox uh xbox one so do bear that in mind um i'll have a full settings video out for the beta 
beta, an updated one. I did one for the alpha. I'll do another one for the beta so you guys can get an idea of what these new settings are capable of. So we'll cover that in another video when the beta drops. HUD vision goggles is another one that they're gonna, or HUD vision toggles is a new feature that they're gonna be adding as well. You can change your crosshair toggling. You can change hit marker visuals, damage based hit markers, uh, ally health bars, enemy health bars, player names, horizontal compass. Uh, they got a lot of changes here that I think a lot of people are going to be excited for. So definitely recommend you check this out. Like I said, we'll cover all this in a settings video. Uh, moving on, there are a bunch of changes in weapon balancing and also a few other gameplay changes that they covered. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that section right now. All right, guys. So we're over here. Uh, the first thing we're going to be covering is the movement because a lot of pro players, a lot of sweats like myself were concerned about the movement of the game. It was a little bit too crazy. You were able to slide cancel pretty insane in that game. And I'm actually quite happy that they changed things up a bit because uh, it was a little bit out of hand in my opinion. So the core movement, they've slightly increased the acceleration when moving from a standstill. They integrated upcoming locomotion animations and systems for walking jogging and also sprinting as well uh, sprinting they've reduced the remove they reduce or remove several sprint penalties that can leave the player in a state of reduced sprint speed I've noticed this as well this happened uh, so it increases the sprint takeoff feature for a quick burst of speed when initially sprinting they increase the time it takes to ramp down from maximum to minimum sprint speed for a smarter smoother change of speed and they also slightly adjusted the camera Bob uh, during sprint to better align with updated movement animations they disabled field of view increase when sprinting. This should provide a smoother in-game view and provide a floating camera feeling when sprinting. Uh, sliding, this is another big one. Uh, sliding, they reduced the total slide speed of the uh, of your character, which is a much needed change in my opinion. I thought the sliding was a little bit too crazy. Uh, they increased the minimum amount of time a player must, spend, must be sprinting before sliding to better align with the time to reach max sprint speed. So you can no longer just sprint for like half a second and then slide. You have, you're gonna have to sprint now for probably at least a second before you can actually uh, slide in with your character so that's pretty good there they also addressed an issue that allowed players to cancel the slide without the appropriate slowdown and they said they're going to continue to monitor this throughout the beta so you may see some changes with that as well uh, some weapon and weapon and gunsmith changes were also included uh, for this beta they added a more detailed breakdown of statistics for each attachment explaining in detail how each attachment influences its weapon stats uh, they also moved the gunsmith ui button closer to the weapon Weapon for ease of access uh, recoil and firing animations they added a new weapon recoil system and firing animations with a comprehensive tuning pass for a revamped weapon firing feel on every weapon for both hip fire and also ADS as well they reworked and balanced all recoil patterns impacting weapon balance and mastery across the board uh, full touch-up pass on animations across all weapons based on feedback as well they tuned the ADS speed on weapons as well they added a new ADS weapon rendering technology for more realistic ADS perspective and they smoothed out all ADS in and out transitions. So hopefully this is a good change. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this is referring to. I think it's just a graphics change from what it sounds like, uh, but we'll have to see. Moving on, general weapon tuning. They haven't nerfed or buffed any other weapons besides the AK-74U, which in my opinion very much needed a nerf. Uh, they basically... Uh, they, they say they increased the AK-74U recoil and ADS time and increasing LMG ammo capacity and more. So there are some more hidden changes that they haven't specified in here. So we'll have to, hopefully they drop notes on this at a later date. But if not, no big deal. It's just a beta, so I'm not really not really bugging over it uh, they also have attachment tuning full attachment balance pass to ensure all attachments stay relevant and balanced sniper rifles <sighs> I'm not excited for this one they added aim assist on snipers for controller users for cross-platform balancing. In my opinion, sniper rifles should not have aim assist. You can disagree with me if you like, but I did just fine without aim assist on snipers and you should as well. No need to have players being carried by aim assist in my opinion. Several precision aiming adjustments to help the sniping experience feel more fluid. The sniper glint is now more visible to the game and also to the player. They also adjusted the ADS time on sniper rifles, so I'm sure they probably toned this down because it was insanely fast. Sniper rifles now require hits, uh, higher hits to the body for one hit eliminations. For example, upper chest instead of the stomach or upper arm instead of the lower arm. So they kind of nerfed and buffed it at the same time. They added aim assist, which we weren't really expecting, but they also decreased the overall damage to certain parts of the body for the sniper rifles frag grenades got a nice little change as well reduce the fuse time on frag grenades for the beta throw speed adjustments are targeted for launch so uh, they're not done changing the frag grenades they're going to make more changes when the game actually comes out 
uh, the graphics and visuals they improved the graphic fidelity and performance across the board uh, hopefully that's a good thing for old gen basically ps4 and xbox one lighting and visibility they adjusted lighting and char character visibility throughout the, the miami map for better overall visibility based on player feedback yeah miami's a trash map i'm probably still not going to play it and uh, lighting wasn't an issue for me i still don't like it at all uh, audio, they made some audio changes here. Uh, they added the bass and punch to the all weapon sounds by adjusting master EQ and compression output. They added three presets to the audio settings, Treyarch mix, bass boost, and high boost to suit player preferences. They redesigned several weapon audio layers, corrected audio decay player, uh, playback, and added blending for interior exterior sounds. And they also polished the uh, reverb audio as well. Footsteps got some changes as well. Crouching, walking now functions as a near silent movement option available to all players with or without the ninja perk basically what that means is they nerfed the sound of footsteps because they were absurdly loud ads crouch walking now makes the player's footstep audio even quieter and enemies should not hear the player when crouching outside of extreme close quarters while ninja is a quick core movement such as sprinting jogging and walking are now greatly reduced in volume and distance by roughly 50 percent compared to the alpha ADS walking will also provide a significant stealth advantage when you're using Ninja. Hit marker audio, they added new sounds for fatal and non-fatal hit markers, so very nice information, informational change there. Score streak audio, polished audio for several score streaks, and spy plane audio reduced the volume of spy planes locational pings. So if you guys don't remember, you may have heard a lot of ringing noises while you were playing almost all game that was your uav pinging players on the map and it was insanely annoying i thought like some it sounded like to me somebody was scanning items at a walmart checkout store uh over by the scanner just constantly scanning items at the cash register it was it was annoying so i'm glad that they changed that now this is a huge change here that i'm sure a lot of people may have overlooked for the first time in a Black Ops game, the spy plane pings are now directional and locational based on where an enemy is when they swept when they are swept by the radar, allowing for pinpoint accuracy as this is a new mechanic we'll continue to monitor and adjust as necessary. So what this means, okay, for what this means for anyone that plays Modern Warfare, this is an advanced UAV. The UAV is now an advanced UAV. This basically confirms that there is a VSAT in the game. Uh, this is huge, guys. Uh, I'm thoroughly impressed that they added something like this. Um, I guess it was to balance out that the kill streaks were not as well performing as they would like. So this is a huge change. This basically means the spy plane is now an advanced UAV. Bullet crack. Uh, they tweaked the bullet crack system to prevent players from hearing sounds when they shouldn't, and vice versa. They also made a few changes to the score streak system, so we're going to go through these real quick. The overall objective score rewards have been increased in domination and kill confirmed in hardpoint. These changes will reward any objective player and do not require uh, reward objective streaking. They adjusted score streak rewards to reduce score streak spam. Uh, players will need to go on higher streaks in a single life to earn top tier score streaks. They reduced score streak cooldowns to offset these changes and allow players to cycle through score streaks more often. Uh, so that's pretty good change there. Uh, they basically nerfed but also buffed the kill streaks so you can call in more, but you can't. Uh, get them as fast uh, they've made some changes to the spawn logic over on miami uh, i'm not going to go in too detail they added a few new spawn systems and changed some of the spawn logic uh, moscow they added spawns for more spawns to armada as well crossroads adjusted combined arm spawn logic to keep players from spawning closer to their owned objective uh, this way, you're not going to spawn in back map anymore, so that's a good change. Satellite, they adjusted the spawn logic to allow for a slightly easier spawn flipping in certain modes, so no more spawn trapping on satellite, which is okay with me. Uh, they reworked the bullet damage mitigation model for tanks to provide a more consistent experience across weapon classes. This fix is where some guns seemed in ordinary more powerful against vehicles than others. Uh, they also adjusted the cavalry lancer weapon attachment to be more consistent across all modes, especially on LMGs. They've reduced the tank, tank health to make launchers and C4 more effective. They've reduced the deadliest of the tank shell splash damage as well. Uh, some bug fixes, character models. They fixed the uh, character models. Uh, if you notice, there was a loading sequence that could result in a player's character displaying an unnatural pose at the start of the game. AK-74U got some reload animations um, that were skipping so they fixed that as well motion blur and just an issue where motion blur setting would not properly retain its settings that was a huge issue that i mentioned in my settings video so glad they changed that uh, they also have some changes to the rcxd uh, called in the fun police to address an issue that allowed players to ride around on a teammate's rcxd sorry not sorry uh, didn't even know that was a thing um, they also adjusted the gunboat and wake runner uh, Moscow window got an issue where a player could become stuck when sliding through a window in Moscow. 
uh, mantling. They tune mantling at tall heights to ensure they are performed at a more natural speed and where necessary map designs will be updated to restrict areas where mantling is not intended. Uh, there's a bunch of other changes here with after, after action report, uh, not showing incorrect, incorrect information, invisible weapons, that was another issue, and stability was also changed as well. Uh, some additional updates, uh, we're not going to go too much into this, we, just, we, just, we discussed the ping system, the FOV slider, and the HUD vision toggle uh, information, as well as nameplate changes as well. Dead Zone is going to also have a new setting in the game as well, we're going to cover that in a video. Kill confirmed score limit. Uh, was ending too frequently, uh, so they've reduced the score limit to 65 for the beta, and also a start spawn saw freeze uh, enabled the players to rotate their operator, swap weapons, ADS, and also change the stance during pre-round tower. Um, they also have some progression information. Uh, they'll have more details about it. Uh, they haven't. This is basically basically what they're saying is whether or not there's going to be a prestige system in the game. They're going to talk about it at a later date. They haven't necessarily talked about it. Um, they say that they're not going to have this progression system fully working in the beta, but um, hopefully this means that we'll have prestiging in the game. I really hope this means prestiging. I don't like the seasonal leveling system. I think it's a pointless system that artificially tries to make people play the game longer, which is stupid in my opinion. So hopefully they do have actual prestiging. If not, we'll just have to suck it, suck it up again. Uh, no biggie. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We got a lot of changes here, so hopefully you guys are excited as much as I am. I will catch you guys in the next one. It is your boy Carnage, your Primitive AK. Signing out. Peace out, fellas.